G. Coville here, demonstrating the full-on cross development for the Heathkit ET3400A microcomputer learning system. I've got a serial port wired up to the main proto block here. I'm not sure if you can see that, it looks pretty good. Uh, down here is the clock circuit. Got a 5 megahertz crystal here, connected to a 7404. And it's divided by two in this flip-flop and goes up to the uh, UART or ACIA in Motorola terminology. Uh, inside there I've got it programmed to divide by 64 and it gives a roughly a 38-400 baud with a little bit of error. So the uh, serial port coming from my iMac is here. Um, I don't actually have anything connected to the going back to the iMac, but got two wires coming out. They go into this uh, uh, 1488 level shifter into the serial port. These two are glue logic for the addressing and uh, enabling the data to go back to the CPU. And all the rest of these wires connect to the buses of the CPU. So over here is the keyboard and LEDs and I'll just give a quick demonstration of uh, how you would enter programs. So I'm just going to show you examine address zero. So I've got all zeros in memory. The addresses are the four on the left and the data is on the right. Two bytes, on, two digits on the right. And so if I were to enter a program, I would say auto enter starting address zero and then, you know, BD, FC, BC, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on and is prone to error and all that. So um, I'm just going to show that uh, D, yeah, making a mess here. So I'm just going to clear this out now. Just put in some zeros. Okay, a bunch of zeros there. And so now when I come to the computer over here, we can... Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to come out. This one up here is Z-term. And I can... File, send text. Let's see, what did I call it? I called it uh, the sample program. And this one is just going to get sent down the serial port. And nothing actually shows. This is all happening in the background. The interrupts from the UART go into the non-masculine interrupts. So in the background, it's collecting all the bytes in that XFR file. And now we'll take a look and see what's going on at location zero. Hey, look. PD, FCBC, 8601. Hey, I didn't enter that. Maybe that all came down over the serial port. So uh, let's run it. This is a sample program that was in the Heathkit manual. And it uh, shows all the segments of the LEDs. Cool. I didn't have to type it all in. Well, that's uh, pretty much the cross-development demo for uh, the ET3400A.